Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do my first impression slash disassembly of the uh, MBK Mini Old Guard here. Uh, and uh, pardon me if you hear some white noise in the background. Uh, I am on dad duty today. My wife is out uh, visiting her mom at the hospital. And um, yeah, so the baby's taking a nap. And I had a second, so I thought I'd try to get this done. Um, first, I want to say this is the MBK Mini Old Guard in Raindrop Carbon Fiber and M390 Steel. should be able to see that there. Um, very, very cool knife. The Raindrop Carbon is done very well. It's a nice thick slab of it instead of, you know, a thin piece that occasionally looks kind of cheap when it's just slapped on top of a steel liner or something. Um, QSP comes to mind, even though this kind of looks like the QSP raindrop, uh, CF. So I don't know, obviously they source the, the carbon fiber from somewhere else and then they manufacture it. But, um, at least that's how I understand it. Anyway, this is on washers. So no skiff bearings today. Uh, I'm just going to try to take this guy apart. I'm really liking it. Um, it's got good action on the thumb studs. I think it's better for a lefty than a righty, honestly, because, when I try to use it righty, I tend to lock it up with the lock bar. Um, that seems to be quite an issue, honestly. Um, like every other time I try to flick it right-handed, I lock it up like this. Um, so I haven't had a problem with that lefty. Now, the spidey flick lefty is a lot harder because of that. So it's kind of a trade-off there. If you're right-handed, you probably get a, a much easier spidey flick. So... It's broken in pretty well already just over the last night. Um, it does not want to drop when you disengage the lock bar. You kind of have to use your hand or give it that last little shake. So let's get into this bad boy. Get my uh, tools out. Uh, my tools of destruction, as some may call it at this point. <laughs> um, don't know how much I'm going to need to clean it. So I'll grab one cloth. And maybe a wipe here just to be safe. Alcohol at the ready. And let's crack into this bad boy as quickly as we can. We do have tooling on both sides. So sadly, this may be a um, this may be a spinning pivot situation. Um, I have not taken a MBK knife apart yet. Um, my EZC 1.5 has been out on loan basically since I got it. And um I didn't I think I had a VLD from Brad, but obviously I wasn't going to take his knife apart. I don't see any uh, Loctite on here, which is cool. And that came right out. It does look like it is a D-shaped pivot. Uh, so that is good news. Um, let's see. That was a T8. This is a T8. Okay, good news. Yeah, I'm definitely working on a tray. I haven't ordered one yet. Nothing has really like piqued my interest yet i kind of want a cool leather one or something i wonder if i can get one with like my logo made into it i gotta talk to some leather makers i should not need to take this off but i'm gonna find out obviously i might need to that's weird are we talking t6 on oh god okay t6 on the clip I kind of understand that in some cases. I'm wondering if this is a long screw that goes all the way through. No. Is this one? No. So I shouldn't need to take this off, but whatever. I have it off now. Um, and again, yeah, if my kid kind of starts waking up, then I'll just have to uh, pause this and kind of get back to it when I get a second. And I'm guessing that'll happen because I don't know how long she really naps. Um, she's at daycare a lot during the week, so I don't see her napping at this time often. Usually one of us has to hold her to get her to nap um, when she's home during the day. You know, at night it's easier, but I don't know why I'm telling you that. So I, I can't get this. Huh. So here's the... Uh, I can't spin that. Man, why do they make things so hard to get apart these days? Like, do they... What am I missing? You guys, are you screaming at your screen yet? 
Maybe if I take these out, but I feel like I'm just, it's just redundant at this point. Yeah, they're just spinning in there because, well, this one's not. So I guess we have like a spinning backspacer situation. The threading in there spins. And sometimes you got to use the other one to get that apart. Uh, interesting. Are all these the same length? No, I need to be careful. Pretty sure this goes with the clip. So I'm gonna keep that separate. So what I'm doing here is trying to use this screw to get that screw out. It's kind of a weird thing with the uh, backspacer sometimes. This one might come out now. Nope. If I lock that down. That one's just spinning in there, which is weird. It loosened this one up. So that's just how that is. I don't think that screw is doing anything, though, because it wouldn't be holding this side on. Ugh. There we go. I think I just needed a little bit of pry action going there. So I got that off. Now I, to get the pivot. What is holding you in? Maybe this stop pin is in there pretty good. You know, I want to do this carefully. I don't want to just start jacking stuff up. You know me. All right, there we go. So we have... Uh, you know what, guys? This might be made by QSP because of that washer situation there. You guys see this? We're getting double washers going here. So you had the washer there, then the Teflon, right? And on this side, you have a washer there, a washer there, and then Teflon. They put an extra washer in? Why would they do that? That's so weird. I wonder if that was on purpose. Is there another one under? Yeah. So you got double washers. That's so weird. That is so weird, guys. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Double washers. Double washers. Why would you... I don't know. I wonder if that was an accident. I should ask them. I'll put it back together with both. Maybe I should put it back together with one and see what happens. Um, and there's a lot of grease or something in there. It's interesting. Yeah, there's like a million washers, guys. It's so crazy. I don't see why you would need two washers against the scale here. So they have a washer on the scale and then... Maybe that helps with action, makes it smoother. I don't know. I'll put it back together that way, and then I'll ask them, because I don't want to change anything, you know. Um, but that is super interesting and cool. Well, I don't know how cool it is, but it's fucking interesting. That's a damn show. All right, so now we have a mess of parts here, obviously, even the clip over here. So let's get started putting her back together. This is the show side. That's where you want your pivot usually anyway i think that's how i had it i like to usually take the uh take the clip side off because that's the lock side um put this down here all right so we get the pivot in we want that d shape facing at the bottom south if you will um yeah okay then we're gonna get the kpl out Gonna be very liberal here. That should be plenty for that spot. I should probably wipe off these washers. Super weird and interesting, guys. Four brass phosphor bronze washers and two Teflon washers. The reason I said it may be QSP made is because of those Teflon washers. 
The only other knife I've seen this on where they put this super thin, it's not even, I don't even know if it's Teflon. Like, you can see I can bend it. Like, it's not thick at all. It's just like a sheet of plastic. And I saw that in my um, Penguin. So I'm, and then the Raindrop Carbon Fiber is a, is like, that's like a QSP trademark, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm 90% sure this knife was made by QSP. The construction even feels like it from when I took my penguin apart. Um, so I think we know who made this knife, which is kind of cool. So we have two phosphor bronze washers. And the reason they do the extra washer with the Teflon or whatever it is, is just to smooth, make it smoother. And uh, it really worked on the penguin. On this knife, eh, I wouldn't say it got... It's not like droppy, you know, I wish it was more droppy, uh, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy. It's got to be careful with because they're super bendy. You can see I'm already like bending the shit out of it. Um, that goes against the blade. So we want that like that. And then we'll put a little bit here on top of that. Okay. That should be enough to help it cross the blade. And then you'll see there's no like detent path, which is interesting. Oh yeah, I can see it a little bit. There's a little bit of a line there that curves around. Uh, I don't see any kind of detent ball ramp. That would be right here. A lot of people tell me these days that they add those. Um, is that a piece of schmutz? No, it's a piece of the... Get a little bit of heavy on there. So we're done with the heavy. We'll take a dot of this like that. I'll put this Teflon guy down. Yeah, those are super thin guys, but that's okay. That's kind of the point I would presume. Um, put a little dab here like that, and then drop these two bad boys on there did i put any here there I'm not trying to go too crazy they had plenty on there yeah just double stacked phosphor bronze washers that's super interesting to me i don't know why it just is am i missing the stop pin no it's right here can i pop it out no okay so we're gonna try to do this and just lay this bad boy on is this all in the right place get that guy in there it should line everything up for us. Pick it up. Make sure we got the pivot turned the right way so that it seats in there. Um, I might need to just turn it a little bit. I think we got it. Shizzle. Let me just close the blade and see if that helps. There we go. I think that popped everything on. We in? We in. We in. That's how you talk. That's English. I'm um, hoping I don't need Loctite with this guy. I really appreciate a knife that doesn't need it. Even though I will put it into most things. But that's only when needed. I am not feeling any pressure here. So this is good. I'm not tightening that down too much. I think I got everything lined up pretty good. So let me go ahead and put this guy in. Trying to get everything on screen, guys. I know I kind of... I watched back some of my other ones and I was like... I was doing shit off screen. <laughs> Which, it's hard, man. Like, zoom in, out, in, out. And it's just... I don't know. It can be a pain. So I apologize if there's some things you can't see me do. I try to show you anything important. All right, this is just spinning in there. Nope, there we go. So, tighten that, tighten that, tighten that. Missing one. You'll see back there is a lanyard hole. That is not a spot to put a screw, Kev, like I tried to in the bombshell. Right. All right, I need to 
can tighten the pivot a little. Get her centered. We want her centered, right? So that would be centered to me. Now, of course, you got to check for... Oh, yeah, okay. Blade play? A little bit of play? No blade play, but... No action. No play. Decent action. I mean, we're centered, right? So that's good. Let me just check the play again. Yeah, I don't feel anything. So that's that's why you have that extra washer in there, I guess. I mean, I don't know what would happen if I took out one of them. If I took out one on each side, it shouldn't affect centering. Excuse me. It's super weird. I'm definitely asking about that. I don't know if that could help with lockup or three washers per side. I mean, it is such a smooth knife, guys. Wait, what's that? I feel play. I think I'm just wrenching the knife in my hand, really. I don't feel any play in the pivot. I can always mess with that. Let's get the clip back on. So you'll see here there's no slot for the clip. I feel like it would have been pretty easy to just put two holes right here. Give me a lefty clip, but... I've talked to Ray or Sanford, I'm not sure who it was, and they told me they, they've they thought about it. They just, they don't want to mess with the aesthetics. They prefer to have it um, where it's a clean show side. So if that's what they want, they are the makers, they can do what they want. So I'm wondering how I'm supposed to line this up. Because there was no slot, I don't know the angle, really. Um, I'm guessing it was kind of like over this hole. That's how I kind of remember it, like that. So I'm going to try it. Should kind of right itself as I tighten it, right? I think that's about right. Because that hole is kind of centered in the clip. And I sort of remember that. And it locked down pretty good there, right? So let me just give that a tighten. I just replaced this bit because the other one was just jacked up. You have to do that every once in a while. And that bit was just messed up in general. I could not get it out of this driver. I was ready to message Brian Brown and say, dude, you need to fix the tolerances on this. It might be too small for bits, but any other bit I put in there comes right out. I needed a freaking um pliers to get the other one out so i think that bit was just jacked up even though it was identical to this one so sort of weird but this is definitely a fantastic driver and then this scout leather co one is also fantastic um i've seen others since then and i just i don't know i don't think i need more than two <laughs> good drivers um so let me zoom out here it is, Monterey Bay, Old Guard, Mini Old Guard, M390, with no blade play, good action. It's definitely not a, um, like a drop shetty type knife. This is made to be played with like this, I think. You get a really good flick out, and then you get a really smooth action on the clothes. It is very, very smooth. I'm not going to say it's the bend the smooth. It's hydraulic. Um, I'm over that. I used to think Sabenzas were cool and they were the be all of action when it came to this kind of stuff. Whoops. Um, but this knife feels better than the Sabenza I had. The closing action is so much smoother. As I like to say, it's my new word, butterier, than the Sabenza I had. And I had a small 31 in lefty. If anybody's wondering, it was a PJ. It even had my daughter's birthday to the exact day, like July 9th, 2020. Um, and I sold it because I just never carried it. I didn't like it anymore. The pivot would walk on it. 
Um, it, it wasn't flickable really. Even when I put KPL in it, it didn't really make it much better. Um, uh, man, this is really smooth on the clothes. Some knives are just fun to close like this. So, uh, this is a really good one, guys. 200 bucks from Monterey Bay Knives. First impressions, very good. Um, I will say it's got a little heft to it for a three inch knife. And um, the lock bar pressure thing for, I would say, for a righty with the thumb stud and a lefty with the spidey flick. But maybe your mileage will vary. Um, Sorry, I keep stealing that saying from Nick, Shab Nick Shabazz. No, uh, Stasa23, but it is what it is. Uh, your mileage may vary on this guy. I really like it. One other thing I've noticed is occasionally when I flick it out, it doesn't open. And that's because it's a little small for my large size hand. And I think my pinky or my middle finger or my uh, ring finger are getting caught around the blade like this. So I'm holding it like this, and then I go to flick it, and I can't because I'm locking it down. Uh, sometimes I'll feel it brush against my finger as I shoot it open. Um, I think that's a me thing. I think I probably should have got the full size, and I may try that at some point. Uh, but I really do like this uh, mini size. So anyway, Monterey Bay Knives, mini old guard for you guys here in the raindrop. Uh, carbon fiber. I'll hit you up with the full review uh, in due time so I can really carry it and, and get to know this knife. So I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.